so it's lunch time in Spain 3 p.m. and uh, this is another video where I'm teaching you how to actually use the, the, the buna masala that we made to make lentils this is some lentils that are boiled you can also buy them in, uh, in the supermarket the ones that I'm using are these ones these are black lentils they're called legumbres punado interestingly they come from Canada uh, they are from Canada so it tells us a lot about the global supply chain we just heat the uh, uh, pan at medium temperature and uh, you see we just heat the buna masala a bit and then mix them together also this is a way where I where we can also make a tarka which is something which my aunt does quite a lot and this is actually how she does it maybe a bit of variation as well so we will be using hing which is asafetida which is very common in African and Indian cultures and uh, we will be using ghee and I have this ghee from uh, which from Pune it's from Chitle and in Marathi it is called Tup so we will be using this ghee so first let's add some ghee and then add I think this is enough the buna masala that we have So now let let it heat up and reactivate from its dormancy and then uh, we can probably <coughs> then we can probably add this thing but let's move it around a bit give it a, some space And now we can probably add some lentils. Yeah, let's add all of it. You now lentils need to be slightly liquidy, or you know, because I eat it with some rice. So I will add some water, but water will dilute all the flavor. Some salt. So what I usually do is I mix so let it I add this tomato paste not the best thing because it has sugar in it but yeah and we add some water just a little bit water is a, is sometimes a dangerous uh, thing because you don't know how much you add and then you have to keep boiling the thing to take it off so i think this much is enough and uh, just mix it yeah i think this is a good enough consistency this is like a quick meal prep it's not nothing elaborate but this is just showing how you can use the uh, the buna masala that we made to make a variety of dishes with some changes as per your um, as per your liking maybe I'll add some more because it will lose some water while it's cooking because this is an open pot and now on the side we can make the tadka the tadka is basically like a like a oil lining that we can prepare or it tastes nice and it makes the whole thing taste super good 
I'll move this on another stove and for tarka as well we use some ghee and some some hing or asafitida I don't know how it's supposed to be like I don't know it's like an extract of uh, some tree resin but it it, sm it smells quite weird especially for my western friends but it tastes amazing I think that's that's enough let it uh, uh, gets a bit toasty and uh, We will also add some, some red chili powder and some cumin because I love cumin and some coriander powder. So now these spices will get toasted and this is not the best way to use them but this is the purpose of chili over here is not to give chili like spicy flavor it's more to give the color and uh, the same for coriander it is to give like a hint of freshness we use a diff we can if we use this it was this platter so we'll use a different uh, spoon I'm waiting for the cumin to open this is the tarka yeah and now we can bring this back over here take that off and we add this on the top And that's it that's how you use it and now I can eat this with some rice and get back to work